Right now, if a human worker does you know, $50,000 worth of work in a factory, that income is taxed. If a robot comes in to do the same thing, you'd think that we'd tax the robot at a similar level. Recently, in an interview with Quartz, Bill Gates brought up an interesting topic that I wish he would have went more in depth with about his vision. As robot labor grows in popularity, what happens to the lost income tax? What exactly is the deal with the robot that takes your job? So the scenario goes like this. Patrick here has been working as a cashier at Home Depot for six years, and he has paid taxes on his labor every single year. One day, a self-checkout machine gets installed and cuts his hours, then takes his job. Where does that lost revenue go? What happens with the lost income tax? And most importantly, what is Patrick to do now? Well, that revenue is never lost. It'd be documented as corporate revenue, which means Home Depot would have to pay corporate taxes on it. But the remainder of that revenue that used to go to Patrick's wants and needs now goes straight to Home Depot's bottom line. But back to Bill Gates. He is concerned with robots taking over human jobs like Patrick's, making human labor like what Patrick does obsolete, and removing people like Patrick from contributing to our federal income tax system. And he has proposed two ways to deal with this issue. One, somehow collect some of the revenue that robots earn, which could look something like robots paying taxes on their labor, just as Patrick did. Or two, some sort of robot tax, a lot like the alcohol tax, plastic bag tax, and even the carbon tax that's currently being debated. Bill Gates wants his new robot-generated revenue to fund training for jobs that still need humans, like teachers, servicemen and women, caretakers, and things of that sort. Now, I think it's really important to pause here and preference how variable this topic can be. I think mostly because this topic largely depends on the will of the people, but I'm going to get into that now and share my opinion. Again, I wish Bill Gates would have went into more detail with his vision because there are so many unanswered questions. Who and how are robot wages decided? What about adjusting wages for inflation or deflation? How do we define what's robot labor? How do we define a robot that replaces a job versus helps a job? How do we define a single robot unit in general. How should this robot tax work? What's really interesting to me is that if you look throughout history, robots have always been there. Robots have been slowly taking human jobs since before even the Industrial Revolution. And looking at the positive since then, this process continues to enable humans to do bigger and better things. It's human nature to adapt and thrive. So, I think the real question is, when do robots replace us, and when do robots assist us? Which is probably more of a philosophical question than an answerable one. So, please hear me out. I'm not trying to convince you that we all should just sit back as corporations replace human labor with robotic labor and watch all the potential suffering and injustice grow. What I am trying to convince you of is that the robot takeover is inevitable. With a capitalistic system, it only makes absolute perfect sense to fire all humans and hire robots the second it becomes cost effective enough. That is simply what our market is incentivized to do. So, unless our market changes, I don't see the inevitable robot takeover changing. But, with foresight of the future, I believe as the resilient human beings that we are, we can use that to our benefit and prepare for adapting to the coming changes ahead, just as we've been doing for hundreds of years. But, lastly, as I think Bill Gates is alluding to, I think it's time to begin to seriously examine the seemingly inevitable future with robots, and understanding their role as well as ours, when it comes time to confront the robot that takes your job. Hey guys, remember to always feed your curiosity, and I want to urge you all to come continue this conversation with me over on Twitter. My handle is at stuff, and I hope to see you all over there. See you on Twitter. Mm.